down here, you know, they, they carried on, they, uh, they, they definitely uh, created a COVID hotspot, you know, they, they defecated in the, the fountain and all the rest of it, but Sturgeon was very slow to criticise them. They were singing like IRA songs, singing anti-English xenophobic songs. Sturgeon was very slow to criticise them, whereas uh, with Rangers fans, who are the, the Scottish team, um, who are pro-union, so, you know, anti-Scottish nationalists, they're on the other side of the Scottish balance, they want to stay in the UK. Uh, Sturgeon is right out of the traps, you know, and slamming them. If they if they do anything, they had, they had a party in George Square uh, in Glasgow just a, just a couple of weeks ago, and Sturgeon absolutely slammed them. Maybe, maybe she should get involved in the Rangers, Rangers one, and not the not the. So you, you, yeah. Well, I think if you want to upset uh, Sturgeon, then it, it's less about the football, definitely less about the anti English sentiment. But you break a COVID rule. And that's the kind of thing that's going to obsess us. So that's probably where that's going. It can be. Well, I mean, I, I was at the uh, Kenyon Street protest, which is an anti-UK government protest, just a, just a few days after after the Rangers fans were, were celebrating, and not at which you know, which is, it was in Scotland's major in the south side of Glasgow, Scotland's major COVID hotspot, and not a peep from the SNP because they knew that those those protesters were were anti. They're they're slating the UK oh, well, government. I think yeah, they, 